Even though summer days are longer, the actual truffling hours in the summer are shorter, especially in southern Europe. Summer truffle hunters need to get a very early start to avoid the midday heat, so that means usually getting up at first light. At the height of the season, in July, we will usually also hunt in the afternoon, after six o'clock when the temperatures have dropped. Now, Truffle forests are not particularly shady places. Remember that the sunlight has to get through to the forest floor in order for the truffles to grow. Hunters can adjust for the heat with lighter clothes and hats and so on, but it's not so easy for the dog. Your dog can overheat very quickly. This is particularly true for the thick-coated breeds like Logotos, and overheating unfortunately can be fatal. Your dog should not be hunting after 11 a.m. on a summer's day, especially if it's warm. Don't be tempted to keep on going. Now, this can be hard if you're having a good day and a good haul. But remember, you're nothing without your dog. You really need to respect your dog's needs above everything else. Whichever season you hunt in, you will need to take water for the dog, but it's indispensable in the summer months. Take a small bottle of water with you when you're actually out truffling. Keep a large canister in the car, and don't forget to bring some type of bowl with you for the dog to drink out of. On the subject of hydration, don't forget you need to protect your truffles from the heat. Okay. Summer truffles need to be stored somewhere cool as soon as possible. Put them in some type of container. Notice the absorbent paper. Then these will go into some type of cooler. It doesn't need to be anything too fancy. Got some frozen bottles of water. Don't let the truffles touch the ice. Don't let them get damp and don't let them get hot. So they'll go in there and cover them with that. The black summer truffle is a hardy truffle. However, several hours in a hot car on a summer's day will definitely affect the quality, so do remember to keep them cool. Take some type of like uh, cooler with you.
some dogs do chase snakes. The majority of them tend to back away. They have this strong instinct. However, accidents do happen. There's always the chance that the dog will be taken by surprise. If this does happen, you need to act fast. Don't waste time trying to find the snake, trying to clean the wound. Just carry the dog. Carry the dog as quickly as possible to the car, get medical attention straight away. You should always carry your vet's number with you. So if you call ahead, then the vet can find anti-venom while you are making your way to the surgery. Finally, insects. Now biting insects can be a terrible pain throughout the year, throughout the day, but especially on summer days in the late afternoon, when they can be an absolute nightmare. Okay, so there are a few difficulties when it comes to summer truffling, but you can counter these with a little bit of thought, a little bit of preparation before you set off. Good luck with your hunting, and if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. And once again, thank you for watching.